Okay guys, so we are vlogging today. Oh, we have to get gas. Uh, yes. Guys, so we have to go to we have to go to get Wendy's first because I'm hungry. Go to Walmart and go to the post office. And we have to get gas on the way back. Those are our four things, things we have to do. Um, so I will see you guys once we get back to Wendy's, pretty much. Well, once we get to Wendy's. Though. Yeah, sorry. Once we get to, I'm, I'm, I'm fading because I'm really hungry. Once we get to Wendy's, I'll see you guys. Babe's thing is we get sodas, Circle K. He gets the the large large one, and I get the large one, and it's like ninety nine cent and seventy nine cent. Amp has drive through. Now they do. Wow. I'm trying to put this up, guys. Okay. Guys, we are going to be doing a Wendy's mood thing all of a sudden. Thank you. We're doing like three videos in one, guys. That's how talented we are. Corner of the YouTube market really quickly. That's how, that's how talented we are. Do you want to ketchup? Huh? Oh, how many more? That manager was the same lady that was like happy at the last time. What? Uh -huh. What did you get, right? Huh? What did you get, right? Yeah. Because I don't know what else they have. I'll go ahead and fight it. I'm really upset about that. We should just put the circle gang in there. I'll take it back. Huh? I'll take it back. Do you have more honey mustard? Just one. Yeah, I'll take it back. Do you want honey mustard? Huh? I don't want honey mustard. Honey mustard. You never get honey with it. Like no way ever. Sometimes. Did I ever hurt? Yeah, who cares, right? Sure. We're gonna say our prayers real quick. Change the barbecue sauce and it's not as good as it used to be. Especially my personal opinion. Guys, so you haven't seen this together for a very long time. Um, we're gonna give you guys an update of what has happened since we did a vlog a long time ago when, we, when I was in Delaware. Because I think that's the last time. Oh, this fries is hot. That's the last time I think we were doing videos together. So I had made a video talking about I was going to be moving and getting married. And now I have a new piece of jewelry. Yeah, so we got married in May. Um, back when I was in California, I got married in Palm Springs. And then we moved, well, stuff was already here in Arizona, mm -hmm. like four months before we got married. And then um, I moved out here. And we were living in Arizona. Almost a year now. Yes. I've officially been here a year. She's been here. Oh, 11 months? Yeah. And to say everything has been super easy would not 
be true. But we have figured it out. My body is so hot. I think now we hit a stride. We're, yeah. We moved into our new apartment together. Not really by ourselves. I keep dropping this ketchup, which is super annoying. <laughs> but we moved into the new apartment literally by ourselves. And we were doing really well. Wendy's a little cheap on the sauces. They really are. They have to give it more. When I would ask for sauce from Wendy's, I would get all the sauce. And I dropped I dropped the ketchup again. So here's the thing that I'm about to do is throw this ketchup out the window. I'm not going to because I'm going to give it one more chance. We do not like it here. It was an adjustment because this came from two different states. We came from Delaware, I came from California, and then it's very different from both of those states. But we have learned to like. <laughs> we learned to. Um, accept it kind of and like try to like get adjusted here it has it, it does feel a little bit better I really feel like bad it to feel sure. some things start to become normal like what I was moving to like well for time it's kind of normal too but what I moving into our new apartment I think we just have to establish like some sense of routine yeah and things that we like to do we were so worried about like fitting into Arizona that like it wasn't great. Okay. We're back, y'all. Okay. <laughs> That's one thing we learned is that like we can't force ourselves to fit into a state. And we were really trying to justify everything that was happening and try new things and go out do all this stuff. That's just not us. People from Arizona, we like it. Love which it. Which is fine. Because they're from here and that's and yeah. all they know. But we definitely did not. That also caused a little stress. Tension. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't, just wasn't great. But then we realized, you know, there are things that we like to do. And so maybe we need to find those things in Arizona and do those things, and that's it. Instead of trying to try new things, we need to make Arizona feel comfortable first, and then we can try new things. And. Um, we were trying to more so explore Arizona because all we knew was that we didn't like our area, but I mean, like our area. Well, I mean, like at first it was kind of like I guess we don't like dry and yeah. stuff like that, but we were more appreciative that in our area doesn't have like a lot where it's not like too busy or too many like people. Very quiet. I come from a Delaware is a small state, super quiet. Everybody kind of knows everybody. Where she lived in California, which is cheap. It's not quiet, like, 
It is quiet. People don't really know everybody. Like, people don't know each other, but it's quiet. It's big. It's big, but it's very quiet and very clean and comfortable. But we did realize that. Oh, we'll get that right back on. We did realize that. Um, other parts of Arizona that we do kind of like, especially when the summertime comes and it's so hot Ugh. outside, or ridiculously hot. Um, we can go to Blackstaff. It's still like nice weather there, that was fun. but it's still like 70s, like high, like what, like, mm -hmm. high 70s? Yeah. A little bit nicer than like 100 and 70. Yeah, Colorado Flagstaff was really nice. Had a great time. A place called Arizona that I love so much. I wasn't talking about it. Um, I recommend a beautiful fact that to go there. Put the yoga ball. What the hell? God dang well, she's gonna do yoga. The bike place. The bike place. She wanna nail salon. Hold on, y'all. That's super embarrassing. She's not like what she's doing in yoga. I'm pretty sure she's not like what she's doing in yoga. Nora, we do have like little traditions. We survived our first summer here. Like almost right out the gate. Yeah. And so now we're like mentally prepared for the next summer. It's not gonna be fun, but. But we kind of know, cause I remember everybody kept saying, I have a water bottle to buy. I'm like, it's not gonna be that hot, but having water is like. You will die. Essential. Mm -hmm. And then we get like Frosties at Circle K. Mm -hmm. Every so often. There's a lot of staying inside. So we're trying to like, we should get it like an Xbox. A lot of staying inside, so we try to keep ourselves busy and entertained inside because it's so much of like go to the store, come home, stay inside. Yeah, I like it now because right now it's like 70s. It's been beautiful these past three years. I love enjoying, enjoying outside. That's why, like I said, put a flat stack and mm, me, you can still enjoy some of the outdoor activities. Like yesterday was so nice, we went to the park. We just kind of chilled outside. Got some pro-yo. We're just right over there. Did you catch up? Yep. Got some pro-yo, chill in the park, write some books, do some pictures, listen to some music, drink some root beer, oh. spill some root beer. <laughs> Coupons, and apparently they do breakfast now. What's up with all these fast food restaurants doing breakfast? Like Taco Bell. People want to go to work. We got time to stop at like a restaurant. They want to grab me down. I 
probably pretty good. Last time at the Wendy's, guys, it was like a tragedy. It was nasty. I will say, McDonald's coffee, if mm -hmm. you have not had it, their hot coffee, large, is only a dollar. And it's actually very good. I'm gonna kill yours. Babe got a free large soft drink too, guys. Oh, yeah, guys, we. In the meantime. Wait guys, it's dark. I don't know why it was so dark all the time. But um But in the meantime. We're doing pretty well. And I really want to um like at first, like I said, at first you want your nuggets? Yeah. I got your sauce. At first, we didn't like it at all. Like Not even Border Borderline that. hated it. But I'm trying to be more positive now, and we know that we're not going to live here forever. So, like, I do want to at least enjoy it now. So, when you always look back at it, we can kind of, like, have memories and laugh about it. Do not get the Wendy's barbecue sauce. It's so good. It used to be good. It used to be so good. I don't know what happened. Because I'm sorry the lighting's weird. I don't know what happened. It got dark, and then I tried to make it more lighter, but it looks... Yellow. Oh, too bright, guys. This is what So, now we're going to Walmart, and I already wrote the list down so we can stay focused, because the last, yes, the last two times <laughs> we went to okay, Walmart. Okay, baby. All right, guys. See you. We get to Walmart. Walmart. was super annoying. Oh and so... And I get distracted in Walmart, guys. I... We end up in the clearance section every single time. Yeah, go to the clearance section every time. But we got some good things yesterday from the clearance section. Um... But I've always stayed over there. But we're getting three things. We're getting cheese, milk, milk, and his creamer for his coffee. And that's it. And then we're that's what it is. getting out of there. It's then we're going to get gas, and then we're going back home. We're going to Costco get this. What? Because it's gone anyway. Yeah, it's so far. Will you make it to Costco? Probably. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna couple the stupid gas. Because it's a dollar ninety nine, if you're a member, which we are. That was one of the first things we did. Yeah, and I, guys, I hate Costco. I hate Costco because every time we go, it's so crowded. People are so rude there. At our Costco, people are rude. I don't know about y'all Costco, but our people are so rude and in my way, and I hate going. I only go when I go with him. If I don't go with him, I won't go. It was hot. <laughs> If I don't go with him, I won't go because I get beyond, beyond annoyed. And I told her that, like, Costco is not, I mean, Chantel is very much like, I need to browse, I need to see, I need to, like, figure out what, what's where. And for those of you who've been to Costco, Costco is not that place. <laughs> sure, it's nice to, like, get a sample every now and again, but for the most part, you go to Costco with a list. And then you get that list, then you maybe get, you know, like a pizza, and then you leave. But the thing is that I'd never really been to Costco. So yeah. that was kind of one of my first times going. So I'm just like, oh, I want to see what they have and where they're at. But I've also just like, in the fast pace, and I'm just like, okay, 
She was no, over it. She no. was like, I'm never coming back here ever again. But then she went uh, the second time. That was pretty good. It was, that was okay. pretty good. good experience. I went by myself and it was bad and I was annoyed. So that's why I say I only like to go with him. Yeah. Because he's more so familiar with it, so we get it no doubt. Okay, guys, we're gonna go to Walmart now, so we can throw our minds. Yeah, <laughs> Guys, we finally made it back home. After what seemed like forever. Yeah, it seemed like it was forever, guys, but it really was only like two errands, three errands. Yeah, three. Where we go? I forgot. Wow, well, Wendy's. Yeah, Wendy's, um, Walmart. Walmart, and then pump the gas. And it seemed like we've been out all day. Mm hmm. I'm exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. I'm like so, so, so sleepy, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog while we are under quarantine. Today's babe's last day being off. He has to go to work tomorrow, so. I do. Um. So yeah, guys. We will see you guys in our next video. You gonna make one? No. I think he's tired. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>